Hi, this is Christy from the Hypothesis team, and today I'm here to talk about how you can replace your discussion boards with Hypothesis social annotation. We all are familiar with the complaints about the traditional discussion board by now. Instructors are tired of reading the same repetitive and rote responses from their students, and students are tired of trying to come up with something more than, I agree, great point, in response to their classmates. But how can Hypothesis social annotation create a more authentic discussion than a traditional discussion board? I'll give you three reasons why. First of all, students can engage with the text as they read the text, and this encourages greater metacognition and a deeper connection to the text, which leads to more authentic responses. Instead of reading the text first and then going to complete the discussion board later on, students are responding as they read. Hypothesis also encourages students not only to react, but to contribute to the overall knowledge base of the course as they respond to the text. They can bring their own ideas and explanations to the text itself. And this can help them move beyond passive reading to see themselves as scholars who are challenging the text or are bringing their own contributions to the field. And finally, students' authentic contributions can provide more information to you as the instructor. Instead of driving the conversation with instructor-provided questions, like a traditional discussion board, Hypothesis opens up the entire text as a canvas for student conversation. And because of this, you can really see where students are struggling in the text and where they're connecting to the text and how. This can provide you more information on how to move forward in your teaching in a data-driven way. So instead of creating new assignments for your course, think about how Hypothesis social annotation can replace things like traditional discussion boards to improve what you're already doing.